So we are here in Museo Nacional de Prado in Spain, sitting in front of Saturn devouring one of his children. This painting was painted by Francisco Goya in 1819 to 1823, and we see exactly as the title says, we see Saturn, this large creature, devouring, eating his child, his son, essentially, and we see the large contrast between the colors, and we see the very dark background, and we see the very light foreground of the colors of flesh and blood create the really light color. Saturn, the god of time, he was given the... A prophecy. Prophecy that he, that one of his sons would de dethrone him, so what he decided to do was eat his children one by one as they were born. Yeah, because Saturn didn't want to lose his power, and thus, you know, he did what he had to do, in his mind, of course. And we see this very twisted image of a father and a son. We see the father, Saturn, has these bulging eyes and wide mouth and wispy hair and his body is very contorted and it gives itself a yellowish glow from the skin color and then we see his son with his limbs missing essentially. His whole head has been devoured and his left arm has been completely devoured as well. Mm -hmm. And the the entire background is black because Goya wanted us to focus on Saturn and his child being devoured, essentially. Exactly. Yeah, there's this huge contrast, and there's this very emotionally charged image where the emotions coming from Saturn, we see that he looks like he doesn't want to do what he's doing, but he feels he has to. Um, he looks frightened and angry at the same time. And we see that he's holding on to his son really tightly, just so he doesn't want his son to escape, or he really wants... To devour him. We see that Goya is portraying his uh, perspective about society and what was happening during the time because he believed that the that Saturn represent, represented the monarchy. Spanish monarchy. And because he saw how power was making others treat their children and that's exactly what we see here. Saturn basically devouring his child. Yeah, we see how the powerful people of the Spanish monarchy were treating their country poorly, and, and the child, his son, is depicting the children or the rest of the country and the struggles that they have. Not only does Goya here represent the ruin, ruin of the Spanish monarchy, but also Napoleon's army. So Saturn also depicts Napoleon's army and the effect it had on society and the country as a whole. And the country is being depicted again uh, by the sun. And we see the instability that is being depicted. And if we connect it to Les Mis, we see how Fontaine had to sacrifice her beauty and dignity and virtue for the sake of her child. And what we see here, Saturn, he's sacrificing one of his sons just so his uh, his power can be maintained. Yeah, and we see that both of them did what they thought they had to do, so they correlate thematically with sacrifice and the process of doing it.